वॉट इज जीन पूल सेंटर्स ओके सो जीन पूल सेंटर्स क्या है नो सी फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेन डिड एग्रीकल्चर स्टार्ट एनी आइडिया है वेन डिड एग्रीकल्चर स्टार्ट फॉर यू नो ह्यूमन रेस अराउंड टेन थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो दैट इज द न्यूलिथिक रिवोल्यूशन यस सो एग्रीकल्चर कब शुरू हुआ हुआ एग्रीकल्चर एग्रीकल्चर स्टार्टेड स्टार्टेड अराउंड टेन थाउजेंड ईयर्स अगो ओके सो वॉट हैपन एग्रीकल्चर वॉज दैट इन सम इन सम लोकेशन इन सम लोकेशन पीपल पीपल स्टार्टेड पीपल स्टार्टेड introducing introducing okay uh, wild species wild species into farming activities okay because life forms were there in the wild so this uh, 10000 years ago this is equivalent to equivalent to the neolithic revolution it's equivalent to the neolithic revolution okay this is the beginnings of cultures very important hai beginning of cultures the agriculture revolution theek okay? hai so what happens in some locations not everywhere in some locations in some locations people started to introduce wild species into farming activities theek okay? hai wild species into farming activities those locations those locations the locations became became the centers became the centers of first civilizations they became became centers of first civilizations and these first civilizations they are also called as cultural hub hearth means fire okay the locations became the center of the first civilizations do you know where did we have the first civilization in the idea which place had the first civilization idea hai assyrian sumeria southern mesopotamia there the, there was an old city called as ur u r ur this was the first civilization yes in parts of the fertile Okay, Mesopotamian plains of Iraq in Tigris and Euphrates. Yes, so those type, those type of places were called as cultural hearth. Cultural hearth. This concept was given by. ये जो concept है. Okay, this concept. Just remember this name. This uh, concept was given by. Was given by Carl C A R A L. Carl Sauer, he was an American geographer, 1920s and 30s. Me, there are locations that became the center of first civilizations. These locations, okay. Now, the the places, the places and the forests, from where, from where, uh, plants. plants and animal species plants and animal species were introduced into agriculture are called uh, gene pool centers they are called gene pool centers the place likho aap isko the place the forests from where plants and animal species were introduced into agriculture are called as gene pool centers called gene pool centers this concept is very new concept it's called as gene pool centers so what happened what what, what we are saying is the gene pool centers the gene pool centers became became the basis of basis of a first agriculture first agriculture and the first uh, civilizations the first civilizations and 
द फर्स्ट कल्चरल अहर आर यू ऑल राइटिंग एज आई राइट एंड स्पीक द जीन पूल सेंटर से जीन पूल सेंटर जो है दे बिकेम द बेसिस ऑफ द फर्स्ट एग्रीकल्चर they became the basis of the first civilization they became the basis of the first cultural hearth hearth means homes hearth actually means fire the fireplace fire okay so that the fire of the homes so cultural hearth the gene pool centers so basically what happens is say this is land here and this is the forest this is the forest these are those jungles these are the forests from here people take the species they take the species they take the life form they take some plants and now here they are having agriculture and when they have agriculture they build their first settled life with agriculture okay they will have roads and trades and so on so these places these are called as the cultural hearth the first uh, civilizations and this places okay from where the species are taken these are called as the gene pool centers ab samajh mein aa gaya difference kya hai okay because rice is in the wild millets are in the wild the rubber is in the wild the potato is in the wild the cats and dogs are in the wild somebody takes them and starts to domesticate them so the cultural hearth uh, is the locations the locations of a first agriculture and domestication and over hundreds and thousands of years this has led to some kind of evolutionary change also agriculture also starts modifying how life forms are evolving agriculture decides how life forms they preserve some species while others probably are ignored because you are protecting some species according to your benefits okay so dobara suno isko i said the places and the forest from where plants and animal species were introduced into agriculture are called as the gene pool centers okay so these are the places from where you have taken and begun agriculture you have taken and started domestication domestication the gene pool centers became the basis of the first agriculture the first civilizations and the first cultural hearth the first cultural hearth okay so the advantage now this concept this uh, concept of uh, gene pool centers gene or pool centers was given by by nikolai vavilov given by nikolai vavilov the very new concept nikolai vavilov okay now see what is the importance of uh gene pool centers its importance kya hai what the importance of gene pool centers okay a russian scholar called as nikolai n i c o l i nikolai vavilov its importance kya hai now see the gene pool centers are rich rich in biodiversity they have got tremendous amount of variety of life forms okay they are rich in biodiversity they are they are the source regions source regions of all of food crops we grow they are the source region the rich in biodiversity they are the source regions of all food crops we grow they are the basis of whatever we have today wahi se genes liya apne that is where the home of the plants and animals okay so what happens is the gene pool centers centers have wild varieties wild varieties of crops 
of crops we cultivate cultivate and uh, such wild varieties and such wild wild varieties varieties will have natural resistance resistance to many to many infections infections and diseases that impact crops that impact crops can you all understand this here ये जो जीन पूल सेंटर्स हैं दे आर सेंटर्स ऑफ वेरी रिच बायोडाइवर्सिटी दे आर द सेंटर्स ऑफ वेरी रिच बायोडाइवर्सिटी द रीजन्स फ्रॉम वेयर ऑल फूड क्रॉप्स कैन बी सोर्सड द सोर्स रीजन्स ऑफ ऑल फूड क्रॉप्स ठीक है एंड बिकॉज दीज आर सोर्स रीजन्स दिस एरिया विल हैव वाइल्ड वेराइटीज ये वाइल्ड वेराइटीज विच हैव नेचुरल रेजिस्टेंस resistance to many infections and diseases that impact crops okay there are there are examples where some of the infections can literally wipe out agriculture they can destroy the entire crop you have got a potato blight you have got a rust in the coffee you got infections in rubber plant they can get wiped out but these centers they have genes they have genes which have natural resistance to many infections and diseases that impact the crops is it okay all of you so what happens is okay so the gene pool centers so gene pool centers are important are important for a sustainable for sustainable agriculture Okay, if I know these centers, कि कहा से राइस आया था ओके इज समथिंग लाइक इमेजिन इमेजिन दिस इज अ कंट्री द कंट्री वेर एवरीबडी स्पीक्स फ्रेंच एवरीबडी स्पीक्स फ्रेंच एंड मे बी देर इज वन पर्सन हु स्पीक्स से बेंगोली ओके इन टाइम वॉट हैपन से दिस मैन स्टार्ट टू फॉर एंड एंड द पीपल बिलीव दट बेंगोली इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ द कल्चरल डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ द रीजन But in time, say this man starts to forget Bengali. So where will these people go so that they can preserve Bengali? They must go to the place from where Bengali originated. Ab wahan jaakar take the words, take the language, and preserve the culture here. Is that understood, all of you? So once you have introduced in the agriculture, there can be problems here. when i'm going to solve the problems we say you must go back to the source regions jahan se aaya hai yes something like right promet something like connecting with the roots go to the source regions and you can handle the problems of those infections and diseases that's why the gene pool centers are very important for sustainable agriculture they important for sustainable agriculture 